Greetings, I am King Julian, and here today I will be walking you through the Malagasy Republic's fight for decolonization. To understand really what it is, decolonization is defined as the process of a state withdrawing from a former colony and leaving it independent. You may be wondering, what was so special about Madagascar that resulted in it being colonized in the first place? Well, France aimed to expand their empire and hoped for easier colonies located on the Indian Ocean. The invasion first took place in the scramble for Africa. The Malagasy Island had a lot of very valuable resources like timber, coffee, rice, and spices like vanilla. Because of this, France forcefully took the island and annexed it as part of a new French colony. To justify this, they put French citizens on the island, promising the Malagasy people protection even though the main goal was to excel economically and politically. Important figures seen in the movement included Joseph Ravoa Hangi Andriambolo, a nationalist leader in the trouble for independence. He was a founding member of the Democratic Movement for Malagasy Renewal, MDRN. Philibert Surinana, a key figure in the movement, who was later the first president of Madagascar after independence. And Munja Jayona, the leader of the Paris des de Madagascar, Padesan, which advocated for social and economic justice for Malagasy people. Oftentimes, the Malagasy uprisings were non-violent, but would erupt in violent clashes and resistance against French colonial rule. The Malagasy fight for independence lasted for years before, and was proclaimed independent in October of 1958. However, it was not until June of 1960 that it became fully independent as the Malagasy Republic. The Democratic Movement for Malagasy Renewal, MDRN, this was the first political party formed in Madagascar. This group was competing for dominance against the Part 1 des Deshrites de Madagascar, the party formed in reaction to the rapid growth in the MDRN. They championed the empowerment in government for coastal peoples who feared that the MDRM would ensure their own political dominance after independence. Its Independence Day was June 26, 1960. Since independence, Madagascar maintains economic and diplomatic relations with France. Their relationship is well presented in areas like trade and cultural exchange, though there have been challenges over the years from previous tensions. The Madagascar independence movement is known for being a much more peaceful approach compared to other African countries' independence efforts. Nationalist literature influenced the support for the movement through novels, poetry and essays. Malagasy received support from other international allies, other African nations, and the United Nations. After independence they faced political instability, economic tension, and social tension. Independence Day is celebrated with parades, cultural performances, and festivities to show off traditions and heritage for the people. Sources for this include www.wildmadagascar.org University of Central Arkansas Government Public Service and International Studies on Madagascar Wikipedia Malagasy Uprising Movement Democratique de la Renovation Malgache Part 1 des Dishalites de Madagascar, France-Madagascar Relations. 2009-2017.state.government, Madagascar, 509. Britannica.org, Madagascar. All direct links will be attached to the document, along with the full transcript. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast. I hope I was able to educate you on a less known independence movement. After this, I hope you do personal research for any questions that were not answered in my podcast. To leave you all, here is a joke. What's the difference between Elon Musk and a Lima? Elon Musk made an electric car, Lima's Madagascar. Please if you get the chance, check out my girlfriend Sonia on Instagram and in our movie Madagascar. Have a lovely day, I hope you join me for the next one.